Okay, so in the previous video, I showed you how to install MS-DOS 6.22 on your virtual machine in PCM that we created. And in this video, I will be showing you how to install a couple of drivers, the CD-ROM device driver, as well as the mouse driver. Yes, MS-DOS 6.22 supports mouse drivers and you guys will be learning some very cool commands in the process. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is teach you guys your very first command. Hey, okay. Now, the first command is DIR and just press enter. And as you can see, this will give you a list of all of the files present within the current directory. In this case, the root directory of our virtual C drive. And the, we're focused on these two files right here, config.sys and autoexec.bat, because once we install our drivers, they will be up they will be loaded into these automatically. And what I just want to do is give you guys a brief visual of what each of them looks like before and after the drivers are loaded. Your second command is edit. We are, we are going, going to go into the config.sys file first. Press enter. And you'll come to here, as you can see, some of you are probably thinking, where the heck am I? What, what is this? Well, it's nothing more than a configuration file, obviously, where all kinds of commands are stored to execute certain utilities and services and whatnot, and our, as well as drivers. And once we install our drivers, the CD-ROM device driver should show up at the bottom here, and and that's about that. That's about it for this um, file. So just in order to get out of here, just press Alt and then down to get the heck out of here. Exit. Okay. Now what we're going to do is check out the autoexec.bat file to see what it looks like before and after the drivers are loaded. So so the same command. Edit. Okay, similar but different, and same thing. It, it launches certain certain utilities and services. I'm not going to go over them because the main purpose of this video is to install the drivers, not to give you a lecture. Uh, but anyway, and our mouse driver should show up at the bottom here as well as the device driver for the cd-rom device yep it shows up in two different places pretty cool so you've guessed it press alt to what and press down to get the heck out of here okay and now we're ready to install the drivers now, if you haven't already downloaded them, download them right now. And once you have, just go to disk, change drive A, navigate to where you have them stored that you downloaded, and go to here. Don't mind this. That. And then mouse and CD-ROM support. Click on that. And then all we have to do is type in a a a a and then you'll be in the a drive and then what we do is remember the dir command dir just type that in dir and that will show you all the contents on the floppy disk look at that pretty darn cool if you ask me and see there's the mouse driver and there's the CD-ROM device driver. Both of which are different types of files. But at any rate, 
just type in setup. Here we go. Boom. That's it. Reboot the VM. Yes, we know. System hard reset. And be sure to go to disk and eject the disk. Nice, nice. The system sees the CD-ROM device driver as well as the mouse driver. Pretty awesome. And now let's check out the config.sys file first. And now what and now what do we do? That's right, we type in edit. And let's see. Woo, you have a cursor. Where the heck did that come from? Well, obviously the driver package. <laughs> but anyway, here is the path to the driver. It's in the root directory, and here's the label. And yeah, it installed very, it installed fine. You can tell. And we're going to press Alt. And I don't think I have to tell you, press down to get the heck out of here. Okay, now we're going to edit the, the autoexec.bat file. And boom, we can see, we can see there's a different, it's a different driver, but it's the, it's basically the, uh, the, the same support software that goes along with the, uh, with the device driver itself. So, well, you get the point. And then here's the mouse driver. It's also in the root directory and yeah and what we do is what we do is exit and that's it for this video if you have any questions comments please feel free I'm open again please leave them and be sure to like and subscribe hit that subscribe button and in the next video I will show you how to play games and, and install games on MS-DOS 6.22. I will surprise you with the game. And we will also get into installing the Sound Blaster um, driver for our virtual sound card. And yeah, so like I said, like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. That would really help. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it.